Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to continue uh, with a couple of stories of uh, Rabbi Israel of Rijin. And um, some people came up to him, some students came up to Rabbi Israel, and he says, why is it that in some Sidurim, in some prayer books, we read, Cause us, O Lord our God, Hashem el to lie down. But in other prayer books, it says, Cause us, our Father, Avinu, to lie down. Why? What's the discrepancy? What's, why does some say one way and some the other? We don't understand. Rabbi Israel explains. When man thinks of God as God. When we think of God as the Creator, the Almighty, we're a little ashamed, a little embarrassed, a little intimidated to lie down and sleep in His presence. But when we view the Almighty God as our Father, then you feel, you feel like a, a fond child. And um, the way a fond child feels toward his father. And um, the father tucks him in, makes sure he falls asleep, watches over him as he sleeps, when he goes to bed. And as we pray, spread over us the shelter of your peace. It's like a loving father will pull a blanket over a child. Some other people came up to Rabbi Israel Vrishin with uh, a question with respect to the, um, the verse um, in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 18, um, it's dealing with the children of Israel standing at the foot of Mount Sinai. It's written, the people saw it, the thunder, the lightning, the, um, the presence of God, and they moved and they stood afar off. And so the people are saying, I don't understand. How do we interpret this? Is not the entire earth filled with the glory of God? Certainly at that moment. How, if there's no place in the world where God is not, how can the people stand, move, and be far off from him? Good question. Rabbi, uh, Levi, Rabbi Israel of Rishon explained miracles are for those who have little faith. When the Jewish people, when Bnei Israel saw that God was performing miracles, they knew that they still had to stand far off. Their hearts stirred, their hearts moved. And in spirit, they stood far off at a place which was still befitting to them, but at the same time, they yearned for perfect faith with all the strength in their stirring hearts. The fact that Hashem was performing miracles was a sign to them that their faith was weak, so they moved away. But at the same time, they yearned, they moved to be at a, at a madrega, at a level where their faith was so strong that they didn't need miracles. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.